So, um, like a lot of you, I uh, you know I go to the gym and I listen to things that uh, I download podcasts. Podcasts are big. I um, I like to listen to various uh, podcasts all over the various spectrums that they encompass: news, sports, pop culture. Uh, I have become a big fan of True Crime Reporter. This is a podcast hosted by my next guest. It uh, is a podcast centered around one of the most notorious criminals in the history of the world, Count Kenneth Allen McDuff. He remains the only inmate in the state of Texas to receive three death sentences. And this podcast is now being crafted into a television series that premiered on Fox Nation last night. Fox Nation is carrying this. The host, as I mentioned, is Robert Riggs. He is a former um, investigative reporter for several television stations in uh, New York, in uh, Texas. Uh, I believe he uh, also did some work in the Washington, D.C. area. We'll get into that in a second. But Robert Riggs, how are you on this glorious Saturday? Well, Kenny, uh, Ken, howdy from Texas. And uh, as we say in True Crime Reporter, we take you inside the crime scene tape. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, I've heard that more than a few times. So the, this this true crime reporter uh, podcast, uh, and again, it centers on Kenneth Allen McDuff, who sounds like just the absolute scum of the earth, sadistic serial killer, a guy that is uh, been incarcerated, uh, three death sentences, uh, sexual assaults, uh, rapes. I mean, this guy is just just horrible. I mean, I'm not going to ask you why you picked him for the subject matter, because you probably couldn't find a worse human being on the face of the earth. That would be safe to say, right? Well, you know, when I started the podcast, I was being encouraged by a lot of retired law enforcement officers that knew me over the years, U.S. Marshals, FBI agents, uh, prison investigators, uh, you name it, uh, homicide detectives, they were all like, you know, Riggs, you've been in every maximum security prison in the state. You spent 10 years of your life investigating corruption in the system. You really ought to get your notebooks, dust them off, and go back into these stories. And Kenneth Allen McDuff's release from prison was the most shocking case I'd ever seen, and also the most shocking and still haunts all of the investigators who worked. Yeah. Uh, for a background on this, uh, this, this, this McDuff dude was um, in jail got paroled in, I want to say, 89. I might be off a year or two there. Uh, that was from his first death sentence, murdered three kids back in the mid-60s. And then he goes on this this killing spree. I, I, I guess at last count, he was suspected of 14 murders. Am I right there? Oh, they think it's way north of two dozen. Hmm. And he, before he was executed, he even kind of hinted that yeah. there were a lot. But he buried his victims in remote areas, yeah. wooded areas, farmland. So you'll never know unless a, a hunter or a farmer someday stumbles on a grave. Yeah, yeah. And and this is this is what you weave uh, through your podcast, which is now part of a Fox Nation uh, series that debuted last night. The story of getting this from podcast, from audio form into visual and audio form on Fox Nation. Somebody had to be a fan of this show. I know you, you, you've you been working on trying to get it on uh, some sort of uh, television medium. You found one, but somebody had to be a fan of this show before actually sealing that deal, right? Yes, and they found me by the sixth episode. We have many, many more now on other cases. But a company out of New York called Big Media TV found me. They had listened. They loved it. Now, I've got to tell you, this is at an unpopular time. Defund the police was going on. Uh, people didn't want even podcasts that were positive about the police, and mine is, because I show you what a group of dedicated, highly professional law enforcement officers can do yeah. uh, and to protect the rest of us. And you know, there weren't a lot of people who wanted to hear that story. I, I People did say to me, oh, if you got a group of corrupt cops, you can do it. But Big Media TV out of New York found me, and they started shopping this around. And Fox Nation, I, I'm going to tell you, a lot passed. Mm -hmm. Fox Nation, to their credit, jumped all over it. They thought this, the, the, the nation has to hear this story because 
The lessons of history from that story, unfortunately, have not been remembered, and we're repeating the mistakes today with these lenient bond policies. Yeah. The, uh, the, the uh, Fox Nation series is Freed to Kill, and as I said, it debuted last night on Fox Nation. We should point out, you know, Robert is a, uh, as I mentioned, a former investigative reporter for a number of television stations, also the winner of what is, I mean, you can't do any better than winning a Peabody Award. He go on that for investigative reporting. Um, a couple of DuPont Columbia University Awards along the way, but the Peabody is it for me. I, uh, congratulations on the, the other stuff on that mantle that, that probably enhances that Peabody. But um, this is not your only podcast, uh, because I first came to, to know you through Justice Facts podcast, True Crime Stories Stranger Than Fiction. Uh, I think this is, I think uh, True Crime Reporter is your third podcast, correct? Well, so here's what we've done. I was doing Justice Facts with a former federal prosecutor named Bill Johnston. Now, Bill and I had connected again doing the TV show and the podcast about McDuff because mm -hmm. Bill launched the manhunt, too, and he, uh, he and two U.S. Marshals. And no one would go look for McDuff. He was a suspect. And everybody, you know, it was bureaucracy and what have you. They got out and beat the bushes. And it turned into a nationwide manhunt that caught McDuff. And then Bill uh, came in behind me as I was uncovering the corruption that set this man free, as well as many, many others. Mm -hmm. And he opened a federal grand jury investigation. And behind it, uh, you know, sent the parole board chairman to prison. Yeah, and and again in in that podcast, True Crime Reporter, the whole story behind that parole in '89 is just—it's absolutely mind-boggling, um, and a, a, really a window into the justice system that, um, for some reason, uh, you get judges along the way that do things that justify logic. But you've probably seen, if not to that degree, you've probably seen a lot of that in your career as well, right? Well, I'm seeing it now uh, in. Urban areas of Texas, Houston, Austin, Dallas, there is a group of uh, very liberal judges that have come in, and they're really kind of more concerned about the welfare of the defendant than the uh, person who has suffered crimes. And so, I mean, in Houston, they, they've released around 155 capital murder defendants on bond. They're out awaiting trial. Now, th there's only three sentences in that. There's not guilty. <laughs> There's lethal injection or life without parole. And they're letting out people who have long criminal histories, violent crime histories. And many of them get out on what's called a personal cognizance bond. That they just say, hi, see you later, judge. I promise I'll come back. <laughs> well, yeah, I, uh, I know it sounds unbelievable. It yeah. is unbelievable. But I mean, what the hell? We're getting a lot of that on the southern border right now, too. You know, you show up for your court date. OK, I'll see you then. Goodbye. Uh, but no, it's uh, no, I, un I, I, I just it is. And when it's literally trying to work an elliptical and listening to this, it was it was it was no small trick mm -hmm. on my part because the story that, that unfolds is just. On on uh, Kenneth Allen McDuff is just it, it's incredible. So you've got the uh, you've got the Fox Nation uh, series that's debuted. You have this. You're moving on to something else next, right? What's next for Robert Briggs? Well, we're looking at season two of Free to Kill. The theme being uh, somebody who should never gotten out of prison got out of prison and they they killed again. And uh, we're working on a big series inside the Texas Rangers case files. The Texas Rangers are the oldest serving law enforcement organization mm -hmm. in the United States and North America. Uh, they're legends here. They date back to 1823 yeah. before our Texas Re you know, revolution. And they, um, uh, they're, they're enigmatic. They don't talk. They don't step to the microphone. They work out in rural counties, more, still more like the Texas frontier. Many alone working alone, and they are they are the toughest yeah. men and women I have ever met. <laughs> so that's coming. And then we've already started in the podcast. We have a segment called Texas Ranger Case Files. And these are stories that have never been in a newspaper, never published, never talked about. Well, you know what? I'm old enough to remember that TV show back in the 50s, Tales of the Texas Rangers. So I'm sure to be a little more uh, graphic, a little more in-depth than that. But um, this, well, I, yeah, I, you know, then later, 
Later, we had Walker, Texas Ranger, on TV right. for years. But on this one, you're going to see the real Rangers and the real cases. And, you know, they all wear that that white cowboy hat, white mm-hmm. western shirt, uh, a badge made from a Cinco Peso out of Mexico, uh, gun belts and cowboy boots. But, wow, they just keep coming at you. There are uh, when, when a Ranger walks in a room, you know a ranger's walked in the room. It's it's a it's a sight. You just have to see it in person. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Good luck on the uh, on the uh, Fox Nation thing, Robert. And congratulations again on True Crime Reporter. I would, you know, if you're into that that genre of um, of investigative journalism, mm-hmm. it's phenomenal. You can find it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. iHeart. Well, every place that you can get mm-hmm. a podcast, you can find it. You know, I do want to pay my respects to a legend in broadcasting there in Cincinnati, Nick Clooney. Nick <laughs> would know who the heck I was, but many, many years ago, yeah. I was passing through there. I was a presidential advance man in a campaign. And I got to know him, the nicest man. But I was interested in doing this, and he gave me encouragement, a lot of encouragement. He didn't know me or anything, but he was so nice. Yeah. I hope if somebody knows him that hears this, they get him, get Nick to go watch the TV show. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, uh, there hasn't been a better news anchor in the history of television than Nick Clooney, and I, I've said that. Uh, I've worked against him in this market. Um, uh-huh. I got, I've gotten to know him casually. Just a terrific guy, and it does not surprise me that he would encourage you to do something like a complete stranger to do something like that. Not surprising at all. Yeah. Still lives in the area too, so I'll, I'll figure out a way yeah, to get a- it to him, Robert. Yeah, he won't remember me in the hill of beans, but I was, uh, <laughs> you might he was be really helping me. He was really helping me. I, I was a presidential advance man way back. This is the 70s. Wow. And he was really kind of helping me learn the lay of the land and all. And then later on, I, I told him, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in broadcasting. You know, how do you do that and all? And he was so nice. I mean, he was one of the nicest people I ever met in the business. Yeah. That's, yeah. That struck me about him. Yeah, I, I think that would be a story that uh, a lot of people are repeating in this area of the country, too. Hey, Robert, good luck. I love it. And uh, I'll be watching, uh, obviously, and be listening for that uh, that next podcast on the Texas Rangers. Stay well. We need to hear your okay. voice, okay? Thank you, Ken. True Crime Reporter. We drop uh, late every Monday afternoon. Hey, I know you hear you us. Do. There you go. Okay, thank you. Well, Free to Kill is, uh, is the uh, name of the Fox Nation uh, show that is centered around True Crime Reporter. It dropped last night, and uh, if last night is into any indication, it is. Um, it's going to be a heck of a series for him. And the, this guy is, as we like to say in the television business, a grizzled reporter. He is. Uh, he's paid his dues.